What's good? It's your boy. Wait, 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 wait. That's not my introduction. Hold on. Wait a minute. All right. What's up, guys? Um, I got a lot of stuff to uh, show off today. Got a lot of work done. Haven't done a video in a little while, so got plenty to show. Um, my Hobo Myers here hasn't really changed, but as you can see, uh, Simpsons fans, Hobo Myers is now equally completed. So I figured I'd just show them off side by side here. And his is a little bit different because I'm doing more of an H1 body for his. Because once you get the clothing on him, you know, you're not really going to see the differences between the two coveralls for the most part. So it's a little bit of a hybrid, but mostly more on the H1 side. You see the pockets are the square pockets as opposed to the angled pockets here. Um, still need to do the patches, but that's like last step on here. And you see with both, I haven't done the collar yet because I'm going to wait till we get the heads fitted before tackling that one just to make sure it all works correctly. Also, the difference with this one is I'm going to do a rubber piece for the bottom of the pant leg. As you can see here, uh, I had to do a little surgery on this guy. This was one of the UFC figures. came with bare feet, and instead of sculpting out boots, I ended up transplanting booted feet onto him from another figure. Honestly, once the pant legs are on there and you can't see this... Uh, messed up joint down here, which is just as strong as the normal one. It just looks a little odd, but you won't be able to tell, so be nice and covered up. As you can see, you look at the bottoms here. Yeah, you can just barely see the boots sticking out anyway. So, I also did finish the clothing for both figures. The only part I still do have left is the blankets for both guys. Um, I had done a blanket for mine I think I'm going to redo it. I need to go buy just some cheap clearance fabric to make the little bag. And these, uh, the clothes are a little clingy right now because I just washed them. But there is the jacket. I'm kind of actually surprised that in the movie you never do see Hobo Myers with just the jacket on. Oops. <laughs> it almost seems like most of these killers, you kind of see, you know, you saw the progression of his masks in the first movie and all that crap. Almost kind of surprised you didn't see the progression of his hobo outfit. So, there he is in his clothes. I love this new 15-minute uh, time limit on YouTube. I could just mess around. And ironically, more recently, I just started editing my videos so I don't have as much crap in them as I normally do. So that 15 minutes can get me a long way. There we go. Currently waiting on the axe for Simpsons fans Hobo Myers to dry. And it's the axe that he gets, the fire axe from the hospital scene. That is uh, currently in the works, but I can't really show you right now. But there they are, both together in their hoods and jackets. I think they look pretty cool. Once the heads get on there, they're going to be badass. And speaking of heads, now, the heads are still pretty early. Even the most complete of them all is still a little, well, still a good ways off. So, don't make any final assessments based on what you see here. But as you can see, the one on the left is probably the most um, incomplete. And I can't remember which one's which. I believe this is the unmasked, and that is the bloody, or is going to be the bloody. That is the, uh, uh, what do they call it? The Not the clean H1, I, but the, the not cut up H1, the scarred or whatever you want to call it. And that is, of course, the classic hobo. And I want to show you the other side of it, but I don't want to touch it. And here's a better look at the other side of it. 
you can see the the human face under there the heads are still a really long way from being finished uh, there's still a lot of work to be done on them, a lot more details to put in and all that fun stuff. But I just wanted to show that they are in progress now, taking shape, and before too long, they'll be on the body. Let's see, what else do I have here? Um, so I can go back to the one that I've shown before as well. It's the Beach Bum Zombie. I've uh, started painting him. He's pretty close to being done. I still have a lot more layering of colors and adding of stuff to do. But you know, he's still got the intestines hanging down. Got the uh, the tie on his shorts. Unintentionally ended up making his uh, wardrobe Florida College football colored. Well, not necessarily football, but mostly known for football. Because um, they got the, kind of the, the Gators shorts down here, the orange and blue. And this is going to be a Hawaiian shirt. I have the trunks of trees painted on it, but it's the red and kind of a golden brown, which is... Uh, Florida State University. So, I didn't mean to do that, but he just kind of came out in those colors, so more stereotypically Florida for you. And, uh, you know, working on the, the sandals, the big tall socks, nice and nerdy there, the severed arm. So I do a lot of blood here. Obviously, this is just base coat painted black, so I have a lot more detail to add. And here's the face, and, you know, to quote Night of the Living Dead, it's all messed up. Uh, you got the bald spot ripped away at the top. He's wearing swimming goggles with one of the lenses busted out. His nose is gone. His teeth are all messed up. He's pretty gnarly looking. So he should be done pretty soon. This is just something I've really been working on while I've been waiting for other projects to uh, dry and... All that kind of stuff. Paint to dry, epoxy sculpt to dry. So, he's kind of just uh, a time killer for my own personal entertainment. And over here, we have uh, two commissions that I have. Um, it's actually a Jason X 2-pack. You can see right now the figures are holding their own heads because that's their punishment in a figure purgatory here. And uh, the one on the left is going to be the pre-Uber Jason from Jason X. And I haven't done anything to the one on the right yet, but he's going to be the, the Uber Jason. So, we'll be my second Uber Jason there. And these guys are all very articulated. And, you know, they'll have... A f this Uber Jason will definitely top the one that I did not that long ago. I can do better detail on it. It'll have more articulation. It's just going to come out better overall, so... Definitely, I, if I were you, I'd look forward to seeing that one. I think it's going to be really badass. And next to him is, uh... Not entirely sure what I'm doing with this guy yet. He's one of the new uh, Mattel WWE figures. And he's definitely shorter than everything. I mean, you can see the height comparison. He's shorter than these guys without a head. Um... Still trying to figure out what to do with him. The last thing I want to show off today is, recently I think I showed, I was revamping my uh, 1978 six scale Michael Myers. And I think he needs kind of new coveralls, new head, new everything. And I just figured, if I'm going to start from scratch, I might as well start a new project. So I got a new, dra actually it's a dragon body this time. This is uh, another new project I'm starting, a six-scale Freddy Krueger. I have the uh, sweater off the Mezco 12-inch Freddy, and I have put this on him, and it does fit quite well. I've ordered some pants and boots. I'm going to sculpt out a new head for him. As you can see here, it's still early stages, but this is the glove that comes on the Mezco 12-inch Freddy, and I've modified it to have articulation in the fingers. So now you could take it, bend all the claws. You know, Freddy, uh, Freddy's gonna go to uh, a metal concert, throw the horns, and I take this and uh, clean it all up, make it look, you know, make these parts look like the claws and stuff. So it's got a way to go, but that's the start to this figure. So as you guys can uh, see, Cerberus Customs is pretty damn busy right now. 
a lot of stuff in the works, and uh, I haven't been the best about getting videos up there all that often recently. I've kind of just been uh, focusing more on work, and I forget that when I do blog TV crap that doesn't really exist as a video. Definitely going to see a lot of videos from me coming soon. All this stuff is getting into the final stages, it's all going to get paint, and you know, and then the stuff that's newer is going to get all sculpted up. So I got a lot of work on these guys, finishing touches on the Hobo Myers, fin super finishing touches on the Beach Bum Zombie. So definitely stay tuned to see what's coming up next. And uh, just on a side note, very excited because I finally started seeing Halloween stuff popping up at stores. I know it's not even September yet, but uh, Halloween is definitely my favorite holiday if you couldn't tell from my obsession with horror figures. So, definitely excited about that, and all the more reason to do more work and more videos. Alright, I will see you guys later. Oh, last thing, um, probably going to try to do a blog TV sometime early next week. I had intended to do it the end of this week, and I kind of lost track of time and got too late in the day to do anything lately. So... Probably early next week, I'll do an announcement on YouTube and Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, I am Cerberus Customs on there. And, uh, you know, subscribe to me on YouTube if you haven't already. And I'll keep you updated, and you can come join me and watch me work on some of this stuff live. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye.